bro, bro, chill. Let's talk about it. That sword is so big. Counter Colossals and Hyper Armor. Colossals now are trending in the PvP Elder Ring. So this video will showcase how to counter some Colossals and players who are abusing Hyper Armor. But let's talk about why Colossals and Hyper Armor is so good right now. Anyways, it's so good since before. It's because of priority. You cannot hit a Hyper Armor or Colossal user if he hits you. He will take priority. His hit will land on you, staggering you and you cannot do anything about it so how can we counter it first we will use the shield technique where you negate all the damage and counter attack passive gameplay where you don't get hit and hit other people making them angry bear claws is a very effective tool to counter hyper armor endure is very good infamous hit effective dagger treatment avoid hits attack fast in the most ninja annoying way let's go the shield technique use the shield to negate all damage from the ultra great sword attacks you have to use the shield with 100% damage negations this way you cannot even take any damage and the stamina bar is very good against these types of attacks as you can see here i don't take any damage and i have to rest between the hits to reset my stamina bar some shields have been buffed in the new patch that's why i'm very good against hyper armor you can use the lion shield to stagger enemies with its ash of war at the right time To reply to ultra great swords and hyper armor attacks, just use a spear or a heavy thrusting sword or a thrusting sword to counter attack the hyper armor. Just watch for your stamina, man! Passive gameplay is very good against hyper armor and especially ultra great swords because you can whiff punish attacks very easily and also you can make your opponent even swipe to another weapon because it's not even working with a player who knows how to space and counter attack the ultra great swords and hyper armor. We'll showcase some duels, enjoy! Passive playstyle is one of the best playstyles that you can master to win any duel, yet it's very boring to deal with or to play with. But the point stands that it is really a good way to win and a good way to master the duels. Probably one of the best things to counter hyper armor and ultra great swords attacks is the bear claws. Man, this weapon is so crazy. You can even just swipe to this weapon just for one time to catch your opponent off guard and attack him with the bear claws ash of war. It can hyper armor and do continuous damage in the place where it lands, making it very deadly against unsuspecting players. Crutch players using hyper armor and ashes of war like storm stomp and endure can be highly countered with the bear claws and you win if you use the bear claws against someone who is crutching using these techniques. I always see this player. Does anyone know who this player is? I always see him in the, in the Colosseum and he's always using some kind of a colossal weapon. He's the prime example to showcase how to counter someone who is using hyper armor and big weapons, big bonk weapons. Let's go.
As you can see here, I cannot even trade with this guy because the hyper armor jump attacks is very effective against these type of players. Now I will showcase why the bear calls is like a surprise for the bonk guys. They won't even notice. I win. Worthy mentions is the Fox weapon. It's Ash of 4 actually has hyper armor from 1 to 9 frame before the attack. You have hyper armor on the Fox weapon making you unbreakable for its follow up attack. Yo I'm Professor Cosmos. Like the guy is using the great sword, a hyper armor weapon and he's crutching on the hyper armor. He's not even afraid to trade with me. So what you have to do is like be more passive and with punish attacks anyways i swipe here to the bear claws and i trade with him and he cannot even do anything crutching on hyper armor does not make you good it's not a trading game elder ring and in general souls pvp is not a trading game it's actually about spacing and with punishing attacks and being strategic if you cannot win them join them the infamous Ashu 4 Endure. Endure like is the number one way to deal with hyper armor. It's infamous because some players would say it's very overpowered. So you can use the Star Fist R2 with the Endure to counter the hyper armor and ultra great sword attacks and it's very effective. What I have seen from Starfist enthusiasts is that they are willing to trade R2 Starfist with anything because of its high damage. I have been experimenting with this weapon like I do endure then I do the Ash of War and it does a very good damage this weapon the horned calling Ash of War and the good thing about it it can roll catch players but unfortunately this weapon alone without the endure cannot withstand a regular ultra great sword attack but other type of staggering attacks can be faced with the horn calling Ash of War on this weapon it's a good new surprise that you can use to roll catch players the dagger a weapon that is very fast and you can use the dagger to just poke and roll poke and roll poke and roll your opponent cannot even catch you sometimes and then you are the real ninja so how to use the dagger is like attack then roll I'm showing just how busted is the hyper armor here Roll, attack, and like this, I'm just showing what a dagger can do to a hyper armor or ultra great sword player, but most probably your opponent will switch to another weapon, another fast weapon to counter the dagger and that's what you want to do, make him switch his gear. And this is an advantage because mostly players make a build around some weapons and this might give you an advantage because the player has switched to another weapon that isn't optimal for his build. Conclusion Using hyper armor or ultra great swords right now in this patch is very good because some attacks have been buffed and made faster. Some people are abusing the hyper armor and crutching on it to a point where they don't care about mashing the R1 or R2 because they know their hits will connect and yours will not. So in this video we showed some techniques to counter them but there is a lot more techniques and ways to deal with this so tell me in the comments what you think can be used against these type of flares. Thank you, I'm Cosmos, and outro in one, two, three. Oh, you're still here? Subscribe then, man. Subscribe to my channel.